YouTubers, this is HD Sleek Designs, and if you remember this voice, you probably don't, ironically. We just made our new channel, HD Sleek Designs, uh, HSD, so that is, um, our new channel, and, uh, what we are going, what, what our channel is based on is 3D design. We will do a base of, you know, video gaming in 3D. Uh, Cinema 4D, you know, all the Maya, who cares? Anything that has to do with 3D, we will probably do a tutorial. Uh, in our comment section, we will be looking, uh, that is where we look most for suggestions. So if you have any suggestions on what we should do, please, please, um, put it in there, because... We need something to do if we have all this time, free time. Well, we don't have that much free time because of school. But you get what I mean. So, yeah. Um, I will just get started. I will, I have R12. Uh, I'll just tell them our real names. They need to know. I am Justin, and this is David. Yeah. I think he's currently filming another another tutorial that you'll probably see. What I will be doing is getting a basic glass effect. Now, if you don't have Throssy plug-in, that's okay because you don't really need it. I'm just... The point is to get the glass. So you want to double-click in this materials box. Like, just double-click, you know, not in the functions or anything. Just, you know, right there. And then double-click on this. Um, this should open. You go to your colors, don't really mess with that, it doesn't really matter. And go down to transparency, uh, and check it. And then when it see, uh, when you see refraction, put it, uh, point 0.2. And it looks, uh, there's also a way to make water, we'll do that in a later tutorial. But for right now, you just need to do this. Reflection, and just check it. Don't mess with any of that stuff. So now you just drag it onto your um, your object. Doesn't really look realistic now because I don't have anything for it to you know reflect off of. The so yeah. Objects sky create sky. Let me just go ahead and do this really quickly. Probably still won't look very realistic. The best transcript to do this is. You know what, let me just do this really quickly. Um, so how you do this, if you want to do what I'm doing, and you have Throssy, yeah, it is a plug-in, I'll probably put the link in the description so you can install it for yourself. I won't tell you how to install it, because, you know, just too much detail. But, um, we will be, you know... So what you need to do is you need to go to this little block box, hold it, and then click on the plane. And then what you want to do is go to Simulation, Dynamics, um, Collider. And that's what you want to do. And now you want to go to your plane. I'll put mine at about a thousand. Why not? I won't put it on infinity because that's not what we want to do. So... Now, depending on what you want to shatter, you know, whatever shape, you can choose from any one of these. I'm just going to use a block to, uh, you know, just for an example. Now, you want to you want to make sure that your cube is selected. And go to Plugins, Throssy, and then click on this first one. Now, this where it's a little complicated. Not really, but uh, all you have to do here is... Click on how many p uh, piece, uh, yeah, pieces uh, you want. Because when it falls, it's going to hit this and split into pieces. And um, how many pieces you have, well, you know, if you have too many, it will probably either crash your Cinema 40 or lag like a baby. So you have to be careful on this. So let's just go ahead and I'll put in 15. That's a pretty safe. And then just click break now. And trust me, when you click break now, it doesn't actually break your block. Well, you know, it does, but not the point. 
So now if you play this, actually let me put my frames up to 500 so I have more to work with. There. Now if we quick click play, it splits into pieces and looks awesome. But we have a problem because Throssy uh, splits these into parts and um, so th that leads a problem and you can't like shift click and hold these both and you know you know open them so what you do is you go over to this little thing right here basic transparency and reflection so now all you have to do is go to transparency and do the fra fraction at 1.2 like you did this one and so now actually it might take a second to render wow never taken that long All right. anyways so you want to split uh... watch it split and then just this the realism of this glass really surprised me um... i was experimenting for a long while and i found this out that is actually how I found out how to make realistic water. Again, another tutorial. But, um, so this is how your realistic glass should look. It looks crystally glass, but who really cares? Um, it is as realistic as 3D can get in the making of glass. Uh, that was just a really quick tutorial. Normally we'll have like 15 minute long tutorials. This was just basically an intro to our um, our newest channel. Um, HD Sleek Designs. Uh, HSD, I think. HD Sleek Yes, HSD. So that is what we are called, HSD. Please subscribe, rate, comment. It is a free country. Um, Let's see. To start out, let's make it easy, like two likes on this video. If we get that, then we will definitely post another video. Um, so thank you guys. Have a great day, and bye.